What's up guys, Adam here. Welcome back to another AC Milan career mode. This is episode number 50. Number 50. 5 oh, I cannot believe I made 50 episodes and you guys still want to watch. You guys still comment. I am truly grateful and I hope for another 50 more episodes. And uh, some of you might want to know what happened with my surgery. Basically, it got cancelled. After waiting a few hours at the hospital, they told me it was cancelled. I'll probably talk about it in another video. But for right now, we're going to be getting into this episode. And I think I solved my transfer situation that I said I was looking for a striker. And he's also a winger. So he can play as a right winger, a right midfielder, and a striker. And he's realistic because we are actually looking at him in real life. And it's going to be Gerard Delefeu. Now, he's 86 overall, 25 years of age. Very good speed, very good agility, good dribbling, good finishing for a striker. He can be a good backup striker, a good backup right midfielder. I don't want him to replace Suzo because you guys know I like Suzo. I do do really like Suzo the way he plays and um, his contract is expiring in 11 months so I think they might be wanting to accept 27 million so that's what I'm gonna be putting hopefully we're gonna sell one of the players that I actually you know put so we can you know raise some funds for his contract but I'm gonna be putting 27 million for De La Feo. so boys we have a final coming up once again and it's the final in the Copa Europe basically the winners of the Champions League versus the winners of the Europa League but honestly I only really wanted to play the Supercopa so I am going to be simulating this match we're gonna be going with Donnarumma, Calabria, Rugani, Romagnoli, De Chilio, Suzo, Bazuer, Mauri, Bonaventura, Belotti and Lukaku Suzo getting on the scoreboard and that's why I don't want De La Feu to replace Suzo. He can do things like that. Oliveira is going to be scoring in the 20th minute. Teles is going to be picking himself up a yellow card. We are into the second half. Zabacosta is coming on for Suzo and he scores. Lukaku still hasn't scored but I'm telling you he's going to be a great player this season. I can feel it. Bazoer going to be scoring in the 82nd minute and we are going to be picking up a 3 one victory in the Copa Europe. That's going to be some more prize money and a very big victory. Belotti and Lukaku weren't able to get on the score sheet, but we pick up a 3-1 victory. We've got a transfer offer for Alessio Giordano. And Giordano is actually a player that I would like to use in some cup matches this season. Because he's growing really, really well. So I'm going to be rejecting this offer. But 1.5 million for Manchester United means that he's going to be a great player in the future. They see potential in him. We've got 4 million for uh, the Coppa Europe. So we've got a transfer offer for Mario Picchinocchi. And this is a player that I'm never going to use. And he's in quite good form. And Terni in the Serie B are going to be offering for him so I'm gonna be bumping it up to 875,000 and seeing what they have to say about that I really want to make an offer for De La Feu right now but I think we need to sell one of our players maybe La Padula and honestly I'm, I think I'm gonna be putting him on the transfer list I really do like him I really do like him in real life but for right now he's just not gonna cut it uh He's okay, he's a decent player once in a while, but we're going to be having De La Feu if we can sell La Padula, and uh, you never know, La, uh, De La Feu can play as a right midfielder and a striker, so he'll solve that problem. So Terni have said that they're only willing to pay 850000 so that's pretty good, I'm going to be accepting that offer, and... What happened? How do we get so much money? I think we just got all the money in one large sum. So now I have 52 million. What just happened? How come I have 52 million? Why, wait, whoa, what just happened? I think I just got all the money that we got, uh, you know, for prize money in one lump sum. So I'm at 52 million right now. That's pretty weird. So I'm going to be adjusting the budget and we're going to be going and make a new offer for Gerard De La Feu. I don't know what happened, so we might not have to sell Lapadula. We might just keep him there, and he could be a backup to our backup striker. 29.5 million for Gerard De La Feu. So last time out, I put Romagnoli Rugani on uh, one on two defending, and Donnarumma on one on one goalkeeping and throws and drop kicks, just because I want their overall to go up. I want Romagnoli to hit maybe a 90, and even Rugani as well, and even Donnarumma. And Santoro has now increased to a 71 with a C on 1 on 2 defending. He's going to be a very great player for Coppa Italia matches and for the future. So two loan offers, one for Gianfilippo Felicioli. He's been bounced around in the past three seasons, now the fourth season. And Manchester United, why do they want all of my players? 
So, Mattia Guidi is going to be going on a one-year loan to Manchester United. So, Mario Picinocchi has been sold to Terni for 850000 The board has allocated us 625000 to our current transfer budget. Everton have rejected the offer once again. I think they're saying that the player is too valuable for them. And if he's too valuable, why did you not renegotiate a contract? Let's bump it up to 31.5 million. So Everton wants 70 million for De La Feo. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Gonna be bumping it up to 34.5 million because, like I said, we're gonna be able to get him for cheap because his contract is expiring. But 70 million is ridiculous. I already paid 100 million for Lukaku, and th that is a lot, a lot of money. And once again, they said that they want 70. 0.5 million for him so i think i'm gonna have to adjust my wages and all that we've got a loan offer for valerio colombo from brondi uh 66 overall 18 years of age he's gonna be getting a loan out and seeing if he could come back stronger and let's go make another offer for de la feo let's bump it up to uh i don't even know maybe 37.5 million let's see if they'll accept that First match of the Serie A coming up against Lazio. And how many times have we played Lazio in the past couple of episodes? Let's take a look at the calendar right now. We only have one game and then we have the rest of the transfer window. So I think we're going to have one game in this episode. And then we're going to be starting this season in full force like we usually do. Let's get into it at the Stadio Olimpico. And let's see if we can pick up another victory. Main lineup for this match. Donnarumma, Zabacosta, Rugani, Romagnoli, Rodriguez, Suzo, Verazzi, Kovacic, Depay, Belotti and Lukaku. So we're going to be having to watch Felipe Anderson. And he is a great player. He always causes me problems every time we play against Lazio. And if you think about it, this is the fourth time we've played them in like the past two, three months. We played them in the last game of the Serie A. We played them in the final of the Coppa Italia, the final of the Supercoppa. And now we're playing them here on the first game of the Serie A calendar. And I expect humongous things from this club, from this AC Milan club. We smashed the table last season. And this is what I want this season. I want us to replicate what we did last season, not concede too many goals, score a lot of goals, finish first, and win the treble once again. Let's do this. Watch a shot. Watch a shot. Great shot. Great save from Donnarumma. That's going to be a Lazio corner. That is going to be a Lazio corner. Let's put Lukaku all the way on the left-hand side to see if we can pick this up, get this one away. Memphis, no. Lazio get back the ball, here's Bilia, Bilia to Cataldi, Danilo Cataldi, he's taking it wide, Suzo stay on him, that's a good cross, and Felipe Anderson heads that one wide, Lazio putting on the pressure, but both of their opportunities have been either saved or wide, and we need to capitalize boys, we need, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, Anderson, here's Anderson, watch him, watch him, that's a great ball in, and we're 1-0 down. Poor defending, poor passing, led to that goal. We're 1-0 down. <laughs> we are not starting off well. Last game, we conceded three goals. And this game, we've already conceded 17 minutes in. Our passing is just not that good in this match. And we fall 1-0 down to Lazio. Romagnoli and Rugani just split open right there. And Cataldi sends that one past Donnarumma. And we're down 1-0. Daniel, Danilo Cataldi scores the goal. Suzo, can we take this one in? Suzo on the edge of the box. No, Suzo on the wing. Suzo gets refer. What? That is a sliding challenge from behind. That is ridiculous. The referee calls absolutely nothing on that. And Suzo goes down injured. What is that? Let's go, Romagnoli. Come on, Alessio. Alessio forward to Belotti. Belotti into Lukaku. Lukaku shielded to Depay. Depay takes that shot, Memphis. Great goal, Memphis Depay. Nicely done, boys, to get back into this match. 1-1, 25 minutes in. Memphis Depay is the goal scorer. And I'm um, hoping for a lot of goals this season from Memphis. Him, Suzo, Lukaku, Belotti. Great play, Lukaku to shield it and then just give it. And a nice little finish into the bottom left corner. That is what I like to see. First goal for Depay. And the game is drawn level at 1-1. Memphis, push this one. Come on, keep going, Memphis. Keep going, Memphis. This is a great little run, Memphis. Into Belotti. Belotti's there. Punched away by the goalkeeper. Kovacic picks it up. Mateo Kovacic. Who does he have? He has the pie. The pie on the edge of the box. The pie takes the finesse shot. Mm, great block. Kovacic, can he pick this one back up? Yes, he can. Suzo. Suzo. Cross this one in. Lukaku's there. Lukaku. Great header. Lukaku hits off the bar. 
Great header by the big man. Great header by the 100 million euro player. And that one hits off the bar. Had a chance of going in. Goalkeeper not in the best of positions. And 40 minutes in, we could have taken the lead. Zabagosta, Verazzi, Kovacic, Kovacic, Lukaku. Lukaku, send that one over. Great ball to Memphis. Lukaku is playing like a creator. Memphis, Lukaku, Lukaku, Kovacic. I mean, Kovacic, Belotti. Belotti's in a tight space. Andrea Belotti scores. Picks up where he left off. First goal for Andrea Belotti. And now all we need is Lukaku to get on the score sheet. He's got two assists in the two matches he's played. And that's a great little ball by Kovacic. And a nice finish from Andrea Belotti. Right past the, I think, German goalkeeper. Of Lazio hits. And that's 2-1 one, uh, one on halftime. Very nicely done, boys, to get back into this match. And I think the referee might blow the halftime whistle soon. And honestly, I want to get Lukaku into some space to see if he can score a goal. He's fighting for this one. He's fighting for this one. He still has it. Lukaku, send this one forward to Belotti. Belotti, Depay. Depay, Verazzi. Oh, come on, boys. Better pass it than that. Doesn't really matter. We're up 2-1. Goal scored by Memphis Depay and Andrea Belotti. Kovacic, Verratti, Verratti, Belotti, Belotti over the top to Lukaku, decent touch, let's take a shot, Lukaku, it takes a deflection, they have so many players on him, Belotti is free in space, but they have so many players on Lukaku, I don't get it, that one's into the middle, Belotti is there, and is that gonna be another corner, yes it is gonna be another corner, I don't know what it is, they're putting a lot of players on Lukaku, I guess they just wanna stop him from scoring, that one's into the middle, let's see if we can touch this down, Rugani, Rugani, Lukaku, Nicely done, Romelu Lukaku on the edge of the box, sends that one to Depay, Depay, Suzo, Suzo on his left foot, Suzo, what do we have, Suzo to Lukaku, and that's just a bad ball, here's Sergei, Sergei, out wide to Keita, Keita, on the ball, Keita, watch the pass into the middle, how do, how do they keep scoring like this, how do they keep scoring such stupid goals, it's 2-2, Lazio just, I don't even know, I don't even know. Is that Cataldi's second goal? Is that Cataldi's second goal? They're celebrating like they've just won the Champions League. I wasn't able to get a challenge. He found space. Hit off Donnarumma into the back of the net. 2-2. I, I don't like this. I do not like this. Romagnoli and Rugani just don't seem to be defending the same way they, do, they were defending last season. Verratti. Velotti. Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku. Send that one over the top. Great ball to Memphis. Get great touch. Here's Memphis to pie. Memphis, let's go. All right. I don't understand that sliding shot. I really have never understood it. Verati, send this one in. Who's there? Goalkeeper punches that one away. Time for a change. Kovacic is coming off. On comes Bazuer. I'm also going to be taking off um, Davide Zabacosta because he's not having a good game. Like, he hasn't been doing much, but the passes are all off. And Calabria is going to be replacing him. Verati, Belotti. Bazoer, nicely done. Shedley Bazoer, take this one forward. You've got the speed, you've got the speed. Give that one to Depay. Depay taking this one in. Depay into Belotti. Great ball. They have every single... De Ugh, I don't get it. I don't get it. I have not been able to do anything. I have absolutely not been able to do anything this match with my strikers. Because Lazio has to be the most frustrating team after Roma. It's 2-2. It looks like we're going to draw the first match of the season unless some bullshit happens like that. Romagnoli cleared that one away. That's going to be the end of the match. 2-2. Goal scored by Belotti and Depay. Lukaku got an assist. I don't know why he's not been able to get into the box. They have every defender on him. Every defender possible has been on Lukaku this match. And that's a 2-2 draw to start the season. Everton has once again said that the transfer offer is unacceptable for De La Feu, so I'm putting 40 million and seeing what they have to say about that. They're going to have to adjust our wages, but how much money do they want for a player whose contract is expiring? So we finally got a transfer offer for Gianluca Labadula from Anderlecht, and he's transfer listed, so I'm going to be bumping this up to 6.5 million and seeing if they will accept the counter offer. He's going to be going Hopefully, uh, we're going to be rejecting a transfer offer for Suzo from Schalke. He's not going to be going anywhere. And once again, the transfer offer is unacceptable 
for De La Feu. Let's put 43 million and see what they have to say about that. Anderlecht have said that they will be matching the 6.5 million for Gianluca Lapadula and they're going to be going ahead with a deal and Everton have said no further talks with De La Feu. Why are you guys being so stingy? I'll never know so we're not going to be getting Gerard De La Feu. He looked like a perfect option because he could be a backup striker and a backup winger and now we're going to have to turn our attention elsewhere. All right, another player who you guys have told me so many times to get and I didn't want to get because number one, he's injury prone and with the amount of injuries going on in this series, I really, really wouldn't recommend it. But honestly, his contract is expiring. We might be able to get him on, you know, for cheap. So let's go 31 million for El Sharawi and see if Roma will be accepting it and let's try and bring him back to the club. I know I really, really liked him. I know a lot of you really did like him, but just as a backup, I think we can try bringing him back to the club. So Lapadula has been sold to Anderlecht for 6.5 million. The board has allocated us 5 million to our current transfer budget. And Roma have accepted the 31 million euro transfer offer for Stefan El Sharawi. And honestly, I'd be happy bringing him back to the club. As long as he stays fit, he's going to be rotating almost every single match. And he's not going to be, you know, getting strained too much. So hopefully he does not get injured. This is going to be a gamble bringing him back but 31 million is a pretty good sum for a backup winger not only can he play left winger honestly i think sometimes he can play as a backup striker let's go three years 160k per week and not specify a squad role hopefully he'll accept that contract offer stefan el shadawi has accepted his contract offer three years 160k uh, I didn't guarantee him a squad role, so that's going to be a good thing. So he's not going to complain if he doesn't get game time every single match. Welcome back, Stefan El Sharawi to AC Milan. We love bringing players back and selling them and bringing them back. He's going to be getting his number 92. And I think I'm going to try and fit that Pescara game into this match because I'm going to be simulating some of the lower table-sided matches. Transfer offer for Giovanni Crociata, two-year loan to Carpi, going to be accepting this offer. He's nothing special, but just to get him loaned out and get him some playing time. All right, so with one hour left in the transfer window, let's take a look at some of the top deals. Two of them involving Milan, Lukaku to Milan for 100 million, Anthony Martial, 93 million to Real Madrid from Manchester United and 56 million Niang to Manchester City. That's going to be the end of the transfer deadline day. I didn't really want to make any other signings. And now we have a simulated match coming up against Pescara. And let's hope for a victory because Pescara are not going to be a tough opponent. So three players from the monthly scouting report. Uh, Michele Mariani. 47 to 61 overall with a potential of 68 to 92. Fabio Romano, 44 to 60 overall with a potential of 69 to 93. And Luca Rossi, 33 to 45 overall, but he does have a potential of 72 to 94. Let's sign him up and, you know, try and bring them into the club. And uh, yeah, try to loan them out in January. So we're going to be going with this lineup for this match coming up against Pescara. Donnarumma, Calabria, Gomez, Romagnoli, De Cilio, Schnarlin, Mauri, Bazuer, El Gazzi, Lukaku, and Stefan El Shira. We do, have, we do have Locatelli on the bench and Belotti as well on the bench. But I want to give playing time to these guys. And I think... 100% we could walk out of here with a victory. Pescara in their last two matches have two victories. One against Hellas and one against Vercelli. So this is going to be our lineup. Let's hope for a good game. And maybe Lukaku could finally get on the score sheet. Anwar El Ghazi scored 11 goals last season. And he scores his first right here. Gustavo Gomez picks up an injury. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Why do they have to do that to me? It's 1-0 going into the second half. Rodrigo Eli coming on for Gomez. Bonaventura coming on for Schneiderlin. It's still 1-0, 75 minutes in. Giacomo Bonaventura scores in the 74th minute. Lukaku still has not scored a goal. El Shirawi was not able to get on the score sheet. But nevertheless, we pick up a 2-0 victory here against Pescara. I don't know what's going on with Lukaku. Maybe he's struggling to fit in here. 
And that's going to be a victory. We're in fourth place. And Gustavo Gomez has suffered a head cut and will be out for about one day. So nothing too serious. All right. So I'm going to be ending the 50th episode with a squad report. Donnarumma, 88 overall, 20 years of age. Antonio Casade, 73 overall, has gone up by one. Davide Zabagosta, 83 overall, has gone up by one. Davide Calabria, 81 overall. Antonio Rinaldi, 69 overall on loan at Avelino. Gustavo Gomez, 81 overall. Overall. Alessio Romagnoli 86 overall Rodrigo Eli 76 overall has gone up by one Nicolas Santoro 71 overall has gone up by one Daniele Rugani 85 overall has gone up by one Ricardo Ricci 63 overall on loan at Arsenal Mattia De Cilio, 81 overall Alessio Giordano 67 overall has gone up by one Ricardo Rodriguez 85 overall Morgan Schneiderlin 84 overall Valerio Colombo, 66 overall, has gone up by one. Suzo, 82 overall. Jose Mauri, 82 overall, has gone up by one. Richard Libazoer, 83 overall. Manuel Locatelli, 78 overall, has gone up by one. Marco Greco, 65 overall, has gone up by one. Matteo Kovacic, 85 overall. Marco Verratti, 89 overall. Andrei Modic, 70 overall, on loan at Blackburn Rovers. Giacomo Bonaventura, 82 overall. He's pushing 30, and now he's actually starting to decrease in some of his stats, but he's still going to be a good player. Memphis Depay, 84 overall. Valerio Gasperoni, 70 overall, still on loan at FC Barcelona. Giovanni Crociata, 69 overall, on loan at Carpi. Gianfilippo Felicioli, 69 overall, on loan at Chavez. Hakim Mastur, 75 overall, just came back from loan. Uh, the Kaká region, somebody actually told me to call him Felgo because uh, F-E-L-G-O in his name, Felgo, I think that could be a, a, a pretty cool name for Kaká's region. He's 74 overall, has gone up by one. Stefano Rossi, 64 overall, he looks like an exciting player. Mattia Guidi, 64 overall, has gone up by one on loan at Manchester United. Gabriele Colombo, 61 overall, on loan at Horsens. Anwar Elgazi, 81 overall. Ricardo Russo, 56 overall, has gone up by two. Ricardo Fontana, 67 overall, has gone up by one. Eduardo Rossi, 72 overall. Romelu Lukaku, 90 overall, has gone up by one. Now, he hasn't scored yet, but he has assisted twice in the Serie A, so I guess he's got that going for him. Andrea Belotti, 85 overall, has gone up by one. Interest shown by Mönchengladbach, but they didn't make an offer. Andrea Lombardi, he's 68 overall, has gone up by one. Bruno Guerrero, the scout future star, 57 overall. Stefan El Shirawi just joined, 86 overall, is already starting to increase in some of his stats. Marco Colombo, 77 overall, has gone up by one. Looks like a very, very great player for the future and is a backup for this season. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. The first game against Lazio didn't go all too well, but doesn't really matter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Do it! Do what? Just do it! Okay, do what? Do it! Subscribe to my channel! But I already am subscribed! Oh. So subscribe to my second channel! And also, follow me on Twitter at TheNobsYT! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just... Do it! But I can't! Yes, you can! Oh, okay.